Hey Valley Hope Kids, my name is Miss Becky and this is our fourth and final week together discussing Advent because this Friday is Christmas and I know we're just so excited about it. And so this week's candle that we're lighting is the candle of love. And so this week we are going to share the ultimate love story, which is Jesus coming down and being born and then eventually saving us from our sins. And so this week we have a very special guest who's going to be reading you a story from the Jesus Storybook Bible. And so here she is, Miss Beth Caldwell. Good morning. My name is Beth Caldwell. And for those of you that know me, you know that my favorite things in the world are kids and books. So it's my special joy today to read to the dear children of Valley Hope, a story from the best book of all. There was a young girl who was engaged to a man named Joseph. Now Joseph was a great, 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 great grandson of King David. One morning this girl was minding her own business when suddenly a great warrior of light appeared right there in her bedroom. He was Gabriel and he was an angel, a special messenger from heaven. When she saw the tall, shining man standing there, Mary was frightened. You don't need to be scared, Gabriel said. God is very happy with you. Mary looked around to see if perhaps he was talking to someone else. Mary, Gabriel said, and he laughed with such gladness that Mary's eyes filled with sudden tears. Mary, you're going to have a baby, a little boy. You will call him Jesus. He is God's own son. He's the one. He's the rescuer. The God who flung planets into space and kept them whirling round and around. The God who made the universe with just a word. The one who could do anything at all was making himself small and coming down as a baby. Wait. God was sending a baby to rescue the world? But it's too wonderful, Mary said, and felt her heart beating hard. How can it be true? Is anything too wonderful for God? Gabriel asked. So Mary trusted God more than what her eyes could see, and she believed. I am God's servant, she said. Whatever God says, I will do. Sure enough, it was just as the angel had said. Nine months later, Mary was almost ready to have her baby. Now Mary and Joseph had to take a trip to Bethlehem, the town King David was from. But when they reached the little town, they found every room was full. Every bed was taken. Go away, the innkeepers told them. There isn't any place for you. Where would they stay? Soon Mary's baby would come. They couldn't find anywhere except an old tumble-down stable. So they stayed where the cows and the donkeys and the horses stayed. And there in the stable, amongst the chickens and the donkeys and the cows, in the quiet of the night, God gave the world this wonderful gift. The baby that would change the world was born. God's baby son. Mary and Joseph wrapped him up to keep him warm. They made a soft bed of straw and used the animal's feeding trough as his cradle. And they gazed in wonder at God's great gift, wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Mary and Joseph named him Jesus, Emmanuel, which means God has come to live with us because of course he had. Amen. Thank you so much, Ms. Beth, for sharing that beautiful story of love with us. And so with that, we are going to light the Advent wreath. Um, my Advent wreath is down here. And so I'm going to hold up the candles and light them while we read the sayings. And so the first Advent candle is the candle of hope. Jesus is our hope. He died on the cross to save us and give us everlasting life. The light of hope shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. We light this candle for hope. The second candle is the candle of peace. Jesus is our peace. His peace is deep within us, reaches out to friends and strangers, and brings justice to our world. We light this candle for peace. 
little light. Aha. The third candle is the candle of joy. It's pink as well. Jesus is our joy and the joy of Christ deep within us can help us reach out to sad and suffering and the lonely. We light this candle for joy. The fourth candle is the candle of love. Jesus is our love. He is with us always and loves us unconditionally through all the events in our lives, in birth and death and joy and sorrow. We like this candle for joy, for love. I apologize. We all make mistakes. And so with that, that is our final video for um, our discussion on Advent. I'm so thankful for you guys tuning in every week. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.